And this week, our, our Archicad tip of the week is creating a roof framing. So roof framing uses uh, the roof uh, wizard inside of Archicad. This is built into Archicad. You don't have to need to do any add-ons or anything into this to, to make this work. Uh, in essence, that what you do need to do first before you choose the roof framing options, you need to create a roof because it's going to use that as the basis for assigning and creating the roof framing. So once you create that roof, you select it. You're then going to go up to your design menu. You're going to go down to roof extras, roof maker, and you've then got various options in here. Uh, the roof wizard basically takes all these different options, kind of combines that into one wizard, which is kind of nice that you can then kind of go through and set all your settings. If, for example, all you wanted to create for your roof here, though, was maybe a, a beam or a collar beam or, or just you know one component of this, right? Then you could simply do that. You could select it and have it do only that. But if you want to create the entire roof, I'd go to the roof wizard. And then you're gonna, it's going to bring up um, all the settings, right? And that's where you then go through each one of these. And I could say, okay, I want to do the rafters. I'm going to click that, turn that on. Uh, I'm going to go through each of these options and define its size, uh, the soffit, if it's, if it's going to have a soffit or not, spacing between the rafters, um, how they, they join, et cetera. You're going to go to collars and ties, um, define both the tie beam and the collar beams, uh, go to the beams. Uh, assuming that's turned on for our ridge beams. Uh, we're then going to go through and define the size of those beams. Uh, same thing for blockings. Uh, you know, turn that on and then size where the blockings are. And the same thing for the rafters, right? I'd go through, make sure that's turned on, and define how those rafters are going to look as well as the eave angles. Once that's done, I go OK. And it's going to create the roof framing for me. And then within that roof framing, um, I can also create or use that to create a lumber pack. And the way you create a lumber pack is by uh, going to your document menu, down to listings extras, component list, and go to lumber pack, and it will give you a running list of your uh, lumbers, uh, of, of the uh, various lumber used in um, that framing. And so that is our tip of the week.